We're honored today to have with us our Congressman Pete Wisklowski. And I'll ask him if you make his way to the platform just a moment, if you would, please, Congressman. Uh, also with him today is Tom Cuban, and I appreciate so much your presence today as well. When I became your pastor just a few days after that, uh, the Congressman took time to come to my office and uh, for no other purpose or no other agenda, just to meet and find out uh, what uh, he can do to be an encouragement to us. I'm very grateful for him. I had the opportunity to be with him in his office there in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday. And he was very gracious to give us time and attention, listen, and we had a word of prayer together. He is a longtime congressman and uh, has a wonderful, rich history of service to our community. Even his father was involved in that public service arena. And I'm very honored to have him here. The Bible commands us to pray for kings and for all that are in authority that we can live a quiet and peaceable life with all godliness and honesty. No one can quite complicate our, our Christianity, if you will, and our opportunity to serve Jesus like the government can if they want to. And uh, one of the things I have been doing every, every week, not every single day, but I have been trying to pray for, for our elected officials in our city, here in Hammond, as well as in our, in our state houses, in our state of Indiana, and, and also in our, in our government houses there in Washington, D.C. And one of those men I've been trying to pray for and his family is here this morning with us. I'm going to ask him to take about two minutes or so and greet you today. We're delighted you're here. Thank you. Uh, Congressman Wyskowski for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor, thank you very much. It is good to be back at First Baptist to worship, so I will be brief. Uh, but I want to take this opportunity, if I could, to thank Pastor, uh, all of your leaders, but particularly the members of the congregation, uh, not only uh, for your worship of our God, but all you do in our communities. Uh, it can be mentoring teens uh, in our public school system. Uh, it can be visiting people and helping those who are in nursing homes most in need. Uh, for those with least in society, those who are homeless, I appreciate the ministry that you have, or those who struggle with addiction. Uh, so truly, uh, representing our interest in Washington, D.C., uh, it is my pleasure, it is my privilege, and I am proud to represent everyone in this room. Uh, in closing, uh, I would simply remind all of you uh, to remember we remain a nation at war. Uh, we have 66,000 Americans today in the country of Afghanistan, and as we proceed, uh, it is certainly right and just for us to keep all of them in our thoughts and prayers for their safe return. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much, Congressman.